Hello everyone, it is me, NTD200, or newbd 134 and welcome back to how to make a FNAF style game on Scratch, part 31. Now, as you know, last time we did the uh, time and we did the sound effects. Uh, if it's a little bit buggy, that's okay, we'll sort that out soon. What we're going to do today is we are going to pixelate the logo uh, of the game, so that there, so we're going to make it more pixelated as it goes on. So, essentially, what we want to do is I made a kind of like decoy, I suppose. I don't know, but like I made it so that I can check that all the toad is cut. I mean, the toad, all the code is okay. Yeah, we're gonna implement this into the game. So like, it's just all to make sure the code is okay. So we're gonna be implementing this code into the game today. And this is what we want the uh, logo to kind of look like, like start pixelating and stuff. So, let's get to work. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to uh, copy and paste this logo into a new sprite. If you want, you can try and drag the sprite up to here if you feel like it's a good idea which I can't do, but that's okay. And we're essentially going to call it pixelated logo, if I can even spell pixelated correctly. Oh, okay. I'm just, let, or you could just call it, <laughs> or you could just call it logo effect instead. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to paste it into there. So now, it's in the right spot. We are going to put it to zero zero, and now we're going to get rid of it on the title screen. So now the title screen is on its own. Okay. So uh, now, when you enter the game, this will be be, be here. But, oh no, it's going to stick there forever. So now what we're going to do is we're going to implement the code in, but I'll make sure that you guys can, uh, I will read it out for you guys so you can, you know, put it down. So we're going to do, when flag is clicked, set brightness effect to minus five, show, go to x0, y0, set pixelate effect to 200. Repeat 10. Change pixelate effect by minus 20. Set pixelate effect to zero. So that's what we're going to do for the first one. Now for the second piece of code, uh, it's a little bit more simple, but it can also be a bit more difficult as well. So when flag clicked, wait 0 0.3 seconds forever. Set pixelate effect to pick random so like when you take it out it'll just be like blank space and then you'll get it out so pick random 0 to 80 then press the flag and you'll get a logo that looks like that isn't that cool now you can turn it down a bit if you feel like it but if you don't feel the need to do that uh, you can set it up to like 100 if you want to uh, to make it completely unreadable, but and then you can set it to 20 or something, who knows? Uh, you can set it to whatever you want, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you want it at 80, you can, but you can just set it to whatever you want. It looks quite cool, actually, it, it does look very good. But then when we actually go into the game, it's still there, which we don't want, so how are we going to get rid of that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do when. I receive uh, night one for now. So let's do night one. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to get this this here. Stop other scripts in sprite. Hide. So now the problem should be resolved. Let's check. So we've got the glitch effect. Yep, yeah, it is all okay. Now we can even add this to the uh, button as well if you want, like the new game button. Your choice. All up to you.
You don't need to if you don't want to. Although I do suggest you, if you want to do that, take out the go to X to zero, Y zero button. Otherwise, it's going to go to the center, most likely messing everything up. So if you want to do that, that's totally optional. I think I'll do it, but I'm going to see what it looks like first. If it looks all right, then I'll do it. If it doesn't, then I won't. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. Obviously, I'm going to set the pixelation down to about like the same. And heck, I might even do it to this as well. Why not? Just add the just add the pixelation to whatever you want on the main menu. It's all good. So like, just make sure to also take out. Oh, for the main menu, you don't need to take out go to X zero Y zero because it's already there. But you can take it out if you want. So. There you go. That is pretty cool. I'll make it. Oh, let's put the. I wonder what it looks like. Oh wow, look at that. So yeah, just set it to whatever you want. You can set it to like a thousand if you want to. <laughs> like, just make it like unreadable. But like, I hope you can also make it to like thirty as well. Yeah, your choice and whatever you want it to look like. So. Yeah, um, you have now got a pixelated look looking menu and it looks very, very nice. Yeah, it just looks very cool. And everything lands, so it's all pixelated here, and then when you let go, it's all normal. Now, you can literally add this to whatever you want, like you can add it to the cameras, which I've done. Uh, you just gotta just replace it with the cameras when I receive cameras, yada yada yada. And to be honest, the effect works really well. Just use it sensibly, I suppose. Don't put it in stupid areas like the door or something. But yeah, the cameras look decent. Like they're pixely now, and it looks a bit stuttery, and it looks a lot. I think it looks a lot better. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can even add it to the uh, the camera surrounding as well. So like, the, uh, find it. just go back to it real quick. So like, you can even add it to that if you want. Very slightly though. I've only done it like, very slightly. It's a lot more noticeable on the actual cameras, but I've made it very slightly on that one. So yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for part 32. Goodbye.